Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, another of the, the skates. We're going to be talking about the duckball ray. Now, ray skate, we won't get into that, but the duckball itself, uh, Terramaleus bovinus. A uh, bit of a tongue twist to that one, so we'll just go with, with duckball. Overall, it's a species not like your brown skates and honeycombs that are very, very flat. Your duckball has got a main trunk or main body, and then it's got the wings that branch off of that. So the main body is going to be quite a, a tube type of shape. The head in the front, obviously, the back tapering off to its tail. Um, and then the wings are going to branch off from that like that, instead of having a totally flat body sort of distributed around. Um, and that's really more for the way it moves around. It's not a skate that sits flat on the ground. It doesn't sit on the ground and move around along the bottom. He's going to be swimming much like that in the midwater. Um, so he moves again and then he can root around at the bottom. Uh, the rest of the duckball wings come to quite a point, um, sort of a sandy browny color on top. Uh, one of the most distinguishing features though are these, I wouldn't say electric blue, but kind of a powder blue uh, squiggly lines all the way from the top that run along to the wings, um, which is a real, real giveaway when it comes to it. So it's a species that also has the name duckball itself, it comes from the, the mouth sort of area, the nose. It's got a very extended nose section in the front and it's a very soft sort of uh, almost fatty type of nose. Now that's used for when it's rooting around uh, along the bottom, um, when it's going for crustaceans or any of your worms and things like that that are actually buried in the sand or in the mud. Um, you can actually use that, it's a very sensitive nose and you can use that to push around in the mud like that and actually feed, almost graze like a cow. Um, tail section also it's got a little tiny little fin right at the beginning of the tail um, they do have spikes on them so obviously like we've mentioned for a lot of the species when you are handling them just be careful of that um, don't hurt the fish it's not don't cut the tails off you know people some people advocate that it's really really not necessary um, the you catching it so don't damage the fish because you want to have fun now in terms of handling uh, we will just touch on this quickly it's got little holes in the side just behind its eyes. Um, they're called spiracles. Now, that's its inlet into its gills. Now, the gills slit slightly further back from that, and that's where it pumps the water in and then goes through the gills and pumps it back out there or out through the mouth. Now, those are very, very sensitive areas. Obviously, the gill tissue itself is very soft. It's easy to tear. So when it comes to actually handling the fish, you keep your fingers far, far away from those spiracles. You don't put your fingers in the spiracles. Um, you handle it by its mouth, it's got a big bony jaw in the front and a big soft area in front of that. Um, and you can actually put your hand in front of the jaw or into the jaw itself to handle it. Um, the duckball is lucky that it's got a little bit of extra mouth along the side and you can actually grab it around the front like that to pull it in. But yeah, just as we mentioned, keep away, away of the spine and uh, just don't put your fingers in the spiracles. It does damage those gills and your fish will obviously often swim away but not be able to breathe after that and will eventually die. So. Really just keep away from there, keep them nice and safe. In terms of sizing, you've got a fish that grows to around about 1.8 um, to about 2 meters in disc width. Now, as we mentioned, it's not a fish that's very flat. It's very uh, quite a mound of a fish in the middle, that, that main tube of a body. And um, obviously a 1.8 or even 2 meter wingspan is a giant of a species. I mean, you're talking about a fish over 80 kilos, closer, probably closer on 90. Um, and they're really really chunky fish and they're incredibly strong fighters so when it comes to targeting them unless you're fishing in the estuary because you do get them in the estuary all the way out into the into the surf zone you're really wanting to be using quite i'd say medium heavy to heavy tackle um, for the bigger individuals you really want to use your heavy stick because he when he's determined going one way you're not going to stop him now in the estuary itself you can use light tackle a uh, little prawn baits much like 90 percent of the fish in the estuary because that's what they're there to eat um, and then out at sea when it comes to baits, chocker and octopus, those are the two you really want to use. I mean we've caught them on everything from bonnie heads through to prawn baits for, for stumpies and things like that, but if you want to specifically target a, a duck ball, use a whole, whole chocker, whether you slide it, drone it, throw it, whatever, or a whole octopus or an octopus leg, those are really the baits you're going to be wanting to use to specifically target a duck ball. Uh, in terms of the actual 
um, maturity and things like that. He's maturing at around about a meter in disc width, so it's, it takes quite a while for him to get there, uh, or her to get there. And when it's when they actually birth their, their pups, they're birthing them live, and they have a litter of about three to seven uh, little pups, and they're all born at about 50 centimeters di disc width. So it's quite a large individual when he's born. Um, the colors are a lot more prominent on the, on the, the juveniles than they are on the adults. Um, but like the rest of us, we all fade over time, so a little bit of a sad note, but it's true. It's a very, very, very charismatic species, very hard fighter. You're looking more deep water points. Uh, and we, when it comes to where you're going to catch them, the, we get them along most of our coast. They do like a bit of a colder water, um, but they do like a cleaner, cleaner colder water. So something like down in the Cape, uh, Areas all along the Eastern Cape are really a very good spots to target them. And yeah, as you mentioned, whole chocker, whole octopus, or hockey leg are really nice white, white flesh baits. Um, but yeah, it's a very interesting species, very strong species, definitely one you have to put on your list. Because if you haven't caught one yet, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like most of the rays in the skates, they are very, very strong fish for their size. And uh, yeah, it's something that's an appeal drag, he's gonna fight you hard, he doesn't give up until he's on the beach. And it's a, a beautiful, beautiful species. So something really for, for the photo album. So yeah, guys, the duckbill, very cool species, uh, very hard fighter, and uh, definitely one to release for another day. Cheers.